Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see how to design layout in Cadence Virtuoso tool. In the previous video, we have seen how to design a schematic for CMOS inverter. And now for the CMOS inverter, what we have designed, let us design the layout for this. So be there in the schematic editor window and go to launch and then click on layout Excel. Now it is asking for creating new or open existing. Select create new since we are creating the new file. So then click on OK. Now it is asking for the new file specifications such as name, cell, view, type as well as the library. It is by default taking as the schematic library and the schematic name what we have given. Let it be the same. No need to change this. So I just click on OK. And since I have a layout already existed with respect to this schematic so it is asking to overwrite i am overwriting this and once you give that uh, inputs it is take you to the layout editor this is one more editing window you can observe here we need to uh, design the layout so go to connectivity i am generating all from source means i am generating the components of my layout as per the source that's why I am giving all from source and here you can see instances IO pins and the PR boundary I am uh, selecting and in the IO pins these four are the pins we have in our schematic so we have VDD, VIN, VOUT, VSS here and these pins are available with policy icon so I am going to change this with respect to metal one is concerned so I need metal for the connection of those pins so I am changing that to metal poly to metal so if you want polysilicon at the connections at the pins you can keep polysilicon itself now you can see one PMOS device and one NVAS device with four pins IO pins are available here so this is the PR boundary the first thing here I am going to do is that I need to extend this PR boundary so that I can make out layout in this region so to extend that come outside this boundary just right click give stretch and as soon as you go on the line you can observe there is a change in the color here once you zoom it you can observe you can use up and down arrows also so click on this and you can extend so I need more boundary to make my layout visible clearly that's why I'm extending the boundary and once you extend the boundary now I am going to place all these devices within the boundary click escape select this PMAS device and I just dragging up use up arrow if you want and I am going to place it here and I am going to place this PMAS device uh, exactly here and similarly um, placing NMOS device also under that like this try to keep these two devices one below the other exactly straight like this so that we can connect the polysilicon connection as well as the metal connection for the drains now I need to choose these pins and I need to place where actually it is required for the better connection so as we know VIN is uh, at the left side so I am going to place V in here uh, you can bring it near like this and then the next pin is VDD I need to place it at the top again the next pin is V out so you can observe here you can uh, bring it vertical or you can uh, move it horizontally so I am moving twice to bring it horizontal and vertical movement and then VSS at the bottom it is connected to source of NMOS so once you place these the remaining thing is that we need to connect we need to find where actually drain source and all and we need to make the connection as per our schematic is concerned so here we are unable to find which is drain source and all so use shift F key so you can find this is polysilicon this is source this is drain like that so if you uh, just click on any pin you can, it will show where actually it is connected now the remaining thing is that we need to make a connection 
So for that, before going to the connection, let me show you. If you click on this device, PMAS, you can see here in your schematic, it is highlighting the PMAS. Similarly, if you click on the device like this in the layout, it will highlight the end device. Similarly, this pin in the layout, it is connected in this way, the vertical, sorry, the virtual lines are connected. Once we make the connection in between these two, it will highlight the polysilicon region. So now let us connect, click on F to fit into the window and then go to create wiring, select the wire. Here you can see, once I come near the polysilicon, it is showing poly. Once I come near the metal, it is showing metal. So create wiring, then wire. As soon as you go near the layer, it will make a connection with the same layer. So poly to poly, I need to connect since I have a connection in between the two gates here. So for that, poly and I am connecting polysilicon. Now we can observe this, this end is connected to this input. That means I need to make a connection here also. But here it is a metal. So I will extend this metal up to this, uh, up to here. And then I am going to extend you can click on escape if you want to come out of that and again, again I am going to create wire and from here I am extending polysilicon over a metal. So now this polysilicon and metal are not connected just an overlapped uh, thing you can see here. So for that we need to place a wire in between these two. So go to create again wire here choose metal to poly as wire and place it exactly at the center it is making the connection between these two this is the contact and then I need to connect drain and drain so then again go to create wire select wire as you come near this drain region you can observe this is drain of my PMOS device similarly this is drain of my NMOS device I need to connect those two so click on this like this again from the output pin you, you can start like this and can come over here for the connection similarly I need to connect VDD escape again go to create wiring select wire so if you want to zoom this area just uh, bring the mouse near this and use the uh, mouse to zoom like this so now again I am connecting VDD and use down arrow I am connecting VSS ok now I have made connections if there is a mismatch like this you need to carefully connect this now I am just bringing this somewhat uh, I am just aligning this exactly it will be making the connection oh. now it is connected so make sure that your connectivity should be exactly matched with the other layer so if i click on f it will be fit and we can observe here how actually the layout is this is this much we need to make a connection after this what we need to do we need to place a substrate for P device, P mass, and also for the substrate for N device. We can go with N well for the P device and P substrate for the N device. So for that, again you need to go to create and in via you can find M1 to P sub or N well. You need to choose that. So then after placing that via in between metal as well as N well, and similarly the substrate for this end device also you can go to asura and then run for drc and then run for lvs then run for erc also drc gives the results like it is going to check the design rules if the design rule is violated something like if these two are not connected properly it will show or it will throw an error and it will highlight that you can correct that error and again you can run for DRC that will check the design rules. And then in LVS it will check the layout and schematic. 
layout versus schematic is the run in LVS and where we need to match the layout as well as schematic. So similarly ERC we can extract the resistor and capacitor components that can also be done. And I am, st I am going to stop this video here. In the next video let us see how to run DRC and LVS. Thank you.